My name is Frank Sapigao and I found myself here today on my birthday. I was born and raised in the Philippines and came to Hawaii when I was 28. I married my wife in 1987 and together we formed Sapigao Construction while raising three kids that were in diapers all at the same time. We joined Central Union Church at around that time. After joining, my wife engrossed herself with the keikis and the youth programs and was always volunteering her time. I served in the Buildings and Grounds Committee, served as a deacon, a trustee, and chair of the trustees, coordinated the demolition of the preschool after it burned down, audited in Alpha classes, and was an instructor of disciple classes for several years. I also founded the Building Our Legacy program, which recruited volunteers to add jobs in, in the church one Saturday a month. We cleaned the pews, washed those high windows, weeded the lawn, and trimmed the plants, and did various other tasks. The white wooden fences that you see on the lawn today were relics of that program. Those fences were built about 10 years ago. They were built to last for one or two years. They are still standing today. I also chaired the stewardship committee and spoke here several times. If I could only sing, I would be in the choir too. But why do I give so much of my time, talent, and resources to the church? I like birthdays because they are milestones in my life. During my birthdays, I review the past and see where we have been as a family, and I can also look forward to the future and can plan ahead where we will be heading from here on. As I look back, the memories come rushing back to me of the many hardships that my wife and I have endured along the way. Starting a business and raising three little rascals was some serious business. My wife cried when I came home, and our startup business didn't fare well at that time either. Doing construction work was the easy part, but collecting fees was very problematic. Along the way, I have almost given up several times, but somehow, in the nick of time, the pieces always fell in the right places for unknown reasons. Somehow, Big problems were solved mysteriously, and all we did was keep the faith. As I celebrate my birthday today, I ask myself, do I deserve all these blessings? My wife and I often wonder, how did we do this? We are so blessed in so many ways. And those three little rascals that made my wife cry turned out to be real big treasures. They didn't give us major problems growing up. At family gatherings now, they would always tell us, Gee, Mom and Dad, you are so lucky to have us as your kids. And we are. Aren't we blessed? Francis is now a medical doctor in his residency. Tiara is a CPA and now also a practicing attorney. The middle child, Isaacar, is the only one married and is also a graduate of civil and structural engineering, but decided to put up his own online business. And these kids come to church on their own. We don't force them or bribe them to come. In fact, growing up, they were all active in the youth program. Isn't that a blessing too? They too had their own unique trials and tribulations growing up and getting to where they are today. But they finished what they started because they kept the faith. So why do we give our time and resources to Central Union Church? We give because we are grateful for the many blessings that have come and continue to come our way and want to give back to God and the church. And as I look forward to the future on this birthday, I am confident that the Lord has a lot more blessings that are coming our way. More than anything, my wife and I are praying that we will be blessed with grandkids too. I am sure that with a little more patience, it will come in a heartbeat. What blessings are you grateful for? It may not be your birthday today, 
But my challenge to you is to take the time to pray and reflect about the many ways in which you can show gratitude for the countless blessings and undeserved birthday presents that have come your way and see how you can give generously of your time, talent, and treasure to build God's kingdom of love, peace, healing, and hope in our world today. Thank you.